photography never lies. Or rather, it can lie as to the meaning of the thing, but never as to its existence. I've been interested in photography since I was a young child. I studied geography at university and that's where the idea for this film came from. We talk a lot in geography about how photographs aren't neutral, but we've never talked about how being a photographer means that you experience a place differently to if you're not a photographer. There's a photographer behind the photograph. They have to take decisions about what is framed, they have to take decisions about the exposure, they have to take decisions about where they're standing. The image is completely different from the experience, the direct experience of the place. When you're a photographer and you're, and you're capturing an image of a place, you kind of react differently to it to when you haven't got a camera in the landscape. It's a piece of technology, you know, and that makes kind of a difference. You're doing something to the landscape, which is different from what you've been doing before. This is my old school. I've decided to come here to do a photo shoot because um, obviously this is a place I know really well, but I've not been to in a long time. Um, so I can really you know, think about how this is affecting how I'm experiencing the place while I'm here. This is like a little walkway up here that goes to the technology classrooms. And then down here, I don't know, there's just oh, there's something really cool about this little bit. I actually like that picture, it blew out a bit. Um, I like how it goes from the greys over here, moving to really bright on the, other cor on the opposite corner. Um, and you've got not a lot of colour, you've just got these tiny little bits of green and yellow and I suppose the brick. It's just a very subdued shot and I, I quite like that. Yeah, sometimes I go wanting to get a picture of something in particular, but a lot of the time I'm just looking for something pretty that might make an interesting photograph to someone. I've never really noticed this wall before um, and I love the different shapes and the tessellation of all these stones in the wall. Yeah and this is something that I never, like I never planned to take this shot when I was thinking about coming here. These little drainage holes as well I think are quite, just a good way to add a bit more interest into the picture. Yeah I love that shot, it's really soft at the edges, it's overexposed on the sky, you've got some beautiful textures, I love that shot. I know that for me sometimes, it's a case of I want my photographs to look good, because if my photographs look good, then I look good. When I was a teenager, I read a book called The Beach, and in this book, the main character, who's a traveller, said that he doesn't take a camera when he goes travelling, because he did it once, and all that he remembers of that trip is the things in the photographs that he took. So that passage that I read maybe 10 years ago really made me think about how true it is that when you look through a lens, you see the world differently. That's a fascinating thing about art, that art doesn't exist in a vacuum. We are making art from what we see around us and photography is a brilliant example of that. We literally do try to look at the world in a different way. So I've really enjoyed doing this this photo shoot at my old school. Um, have I experienced it differently? I think so. It's completely different being here as a photographer to being here as a student. And I think what I value in the place is different. Before I valued it because maybe it was a place that was sunny um, and I could sit there with my friends when it was the summer. Whereas now I like it because, oh, that's an interesting photograph. And it's all about how it looks. The reason that you go somewhere affects how you experience that place. It's true that you can't experience place the same when you're looking through a lens as when you're not.